The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. The mighty Suzuki on the back of Sojin is in need of a service, so for the next like week or more, we are boatless. But that's okay, because the boys are long overdue a land-based fishing mission. We have a extremely wild forecast for the next couple of days. <laughs> the wind is gonna be trying at best. We have a beautiful house to stay in that is located literally right on the edge of a beautiful harbour. Brother Andre is tagging along on this trip as well. He's keen as to catch a fish land based because he reckons he hasn't been land based fishing for like 15 years or something. We have been granted the use of a four wheel motorbike that is going to make getting around the harbour to any fishing spot we want to get to really, really easy. But for now, we are right down the end of the main channel leading in and out of the harbour. You wouldn't read about it, would you? Blowing 35 knots at the house. Ain't blowing here. It's a great thing about harbours, you know, you can just tuck out of the wind. It's about, I think, an hour maybe more from low tide. We've got Burley in the water pumping already. And the idea being to drag a heap of fish in, but fish the low tide, fish the slack water. In my mind, as that harbour's emptying out, all the fish are coming down to this end of the harbour to the deepest part of the harbour and the chart's saying that we've got 50 feet of water right in front of us so if that's the case then I reckon there's going to be a lot of fish in this hole at low tide. I'd imagine the usual snapper and kingfish would be visiting this spot but considering that it's midwinter, west coast harbour, dirty water, my fingers are crossed for a big trevally. For the next three days, we will be doing our best to catch something to eat. We've got a burly thief. He's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, little mongrel. Stop eating our burly. <laughs> Got to be big snapper in here eating those. <laughs> that was really cool. We've had a few burly thieves in the past, but never a, an octopus. Got a good burly gun. A hundred percent they were snapper bites. Yeah, look at it. Milan's already found the bottom. Yeah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> good, good for me for practice to tie an FG knot though. Yeah, because you need so much practice to tie an FG knot. Well, i got to think of the positives that come out from catching the bottom. <laughs> good on you, mate. With so much foul in the area and getting lots and lots of snags, we've got no sinkers and just free drifting a bait down the current. It's a little bit painful because you've got to drift out, wind in, drift out, wind in, drift out, wind in, but as the current stops, I reckon the big fish are going to come up the Burley Trail. That's a theory anyway. It works in the boat, and I reckon it'll work right here. Andres did a wicked cast and cast his bait off. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this one. I was like, what's that in the water down there? And Milan's like, oh, can you see the sinker? And I was like, oh, is that what it is? It's a sinker, a grapple type sinker. So Milan's like, I'm going to get that sinker and maybe put a sinker on the bottom, hopefully catch a fish. But when he fished the sinker out of the water, there was already a fish on it. I'd imagine someone's been fishing up here, cast over this ledge, got busted off. Oh, Andre's in. And Andre's got a fish, a little kawaii even. But anyway, finishing my story, there was a poor little kelpie had eaten the bait, got hooked, and um, yeah, Milan just saved them. All right, man. There's a bit of kelp down there, probably where he lives. Nothing beats fresh bait. Last burly bombs going in. We're getting real close to low tide now. What's for dinner tonight if we don't get any fish? Now we're gonna get a big Trevor. Big Trevor's coming up. Whoa! Oh, What'd you get? Sinker. Sinker. Hey, 
Hey, you supposed to tell me when you hook a fish, man? <laughs> oh, Mr. Quiet down there. <laughs> Andre's got dinner. <laughs> In the form of the mighty Kahawai. Nice work, Andre. That is definitely dinner covered. Well, that's two Kahawai to Andre and Milan got a Kelpie, but that was like second hand or something. <laughs> oh, and he got an octopus, which was very, very cool. It didn't take long at all. Well, I think that's about it. The tide has started to charge back in, and nothing too exciting has happened, although dinner has been acquired, and that was the main mission, so it's all good. Gonna head back to the house, chill out, and get ready for a day tomorrow and I'm going to go sit myself on a hill and watch the sun go down. Oh, look at the colour of the flesh. What a cool way to start the day. We just literally sat on the deck and watched the sun come up. Very, very cool. Milan's already been for a quick fish and right now the boys are organizing themselves to take a little dinghy and they're gonna go out and sit in the mussel farms and try and catch a big trevally. All I'm gonna do is hang out on the beach and if they catch something, I'll just fly the drone out there and see what they got. Ready for a paddle. I'm also going to fly the drone around out there and see if I can find kingfish sitting in underneath those mussel boys and if I can, then I can just yell at the boys to go over to the drone because there's a kingfish right underneath it. And Milan will have his phone with him and he's getting very, very good at filming. This could be very, very cool. Breakfast is served. Woo! Lunch, bro. Nice. <laughs> it's so good you can catch a kawaii off the rocks and it feels like feel like Superman, eh? <laughs> Boys are gonna eat. I smell chips. Chips are cooked. Just got the fish to go. Well, today has been the most relaxing day that I've had in a very long time. We've just hung around the house. Me and Milan got in the time-lapse war. We've been fishing, we've been eating, we've been chilling out. Milan flowered a frog. The wind that we had forecast for this trip, there was wind yesterday, but today, today is just perfect. I want to be up on the hill filming the water and doing time lapses of the clouds, the reflection of the clouds on the harbour because it just looks that spectacularly good. Right now we're just on a, um, what do you call it, a stop along the way. Milan's seen some fish busting up. Oh, and there's still fish busting up. i just seen another one down there. So yeah, just casting a few lures around, seeing if we can get some more carboy for dinner but I have my heart fully set on a big trevally tonight. But now it's time to put a plan in action and the plan is pretty simple. Go back to the spot that we were at yesterday. The dead low tide today is gonna to be closer to sunset than it was yesterday and I think that's a good thing. Gonna stand on those rocks right at low tide and pump the crap out of the burly bag and hope to draw some trevally right in and then feed them little cubes of pilchard and then hope the boys can stay connected because we got fouled up like two or three times last night. Milan got a rig busted off so there's rocks right in front of us and uh, hard fighting Trevally just might know where they are so it could get interesting. Alright the burly's in and pumping and it's right up on the point there 
and the burley's kind of going with the current around here and there's a little bit of a calm spot in front of us so a little back eddy or whatever so just chucking little cubed pilly cubes in there and letting them drift around and hoping for a trevally i reckon it could work if they're here then it, yeah <laughs> it could definitely work if they're here We did, what are we doing for dinner tonight? We're having car wine. <laughs> <Work> it. <laughs> <laughs> the last two burly bombs just went in. It's like half an hour before low tide. And I reckon have the place saturated with burly and then at dead low tide, big Trevor's will come sniffing around. What have you hooked? I think I hooked the big trevor. Oh, awesome! Oh, it's round and wee. Already. Ah. Oh, I'm nervous. Are you still on something? Yep. What's going on? Are you off? Yep. Oh, dude! My little heart's pounding. There's a lot of foul in here, man. Could have a big chunk of weed on it now. I don't know. Could just be a massive car wipe. Nah, it's not running hard enough for a car wipe. Well, wow. unless it's got a big chunk of weed on its head that it's just pulled off the bottom. Oh, it's a Trevor! It's a Trevor, Milan! <laughs> you got one! That is awesome! The target species grunting away. The sun, he's all lit up in the sun. He's all like gold and the sun's fully reflecting off him. Beautiful fish. He is a beautiful fish right now. <laughs> Gotta be happy with that one. <laughs> Milan's Trevally tasted just as good as I remembered Trevally to taste. And after Milan's Trevally, we got treated to the most insane moonrise. It was actually a blood moon last night, so yeah, we just chilled out, watched the moon come up. At some point today, we will be going home, but before then, the boys would like to take a couple of fish home for dinner tonight. So, Burley is pumping, Milan's casting a lure. Andre's cooking breakfast and like I say at some point we will be packing up and going home but for now it is just a matter of sitting back and enjoying being here awesome trip another one for Andre little grunter grunty aren't they Beautiful fishing's just fish. going off this morning and we've got the perfect conditions the trophy hunters have returned Big Trevs, found the Trevs. Dinner is going to be great this afternoon. <laughs> well, that was an awesome three days in best described paradise, I reckon. <laughs> the boys are all packed up, everything's sorted. We are just enjoying soaking in more of this view before we go but yeah that's it done and dusted awesome trip thanks for watching and we'll be back at it real soon the lateral line is proudly partnered with vertex lubricants <laughs>